Yehudi speaking to Prime Minister of Israel. We are continuing a discussion concerning the U.S. support for Israel. The U.S. supports Israel. The US, America helps Israel. America is a major underlying supportive element in Israeli policy. Israel needs American help. America helps Israel in the military sphere, in the diplomacy, in economics. America invests in Israel. America gives economic support to Israel. America backs Israel against its adversaries. America is an ally of Israel. Israel is, Ameri is an ally of America. If America goes down Israel, it will be in deep trouble. Israel needs the welfare of America. Israel, in a sense, is probably the best, or at least one of the best allies America has or ever could have. And uh, conversely, uh, um, uh, America is the best support Israel could have, and uh, America does help Israel. America is the most powerful country in the world. It is an economic uh, superpower. It is uh, the generator of welfare and productivity and of prosperity for most of the world. Most nations are going to depend upon America one way or the other. And uh, American support is, is what we need and what we have received. This is divine providence. Divine providence so wanted it. And this is the way it goes. And the, the, this is a result of historical forces of geopolitical reality of all kinds of objective uh, causes, causal effects have come to this result. Nevertheless, there's also an underlying spiritual reality, a reality of instinctive, one could almost say racial instinct, support amongst American people to help the state of Israel, even though the American people are comprised of numerous racial elements, uh, at least uh, superficially to superficial level, we find that a good portion of the population of the USA is descended from Israelite tribes, and especially from the tribes of Joseph, of Ephraim and Manasseh, and we believe that this has had an effect on American policy, and this is one of the causes as to why America supports the state of Israel. We want to uh, discuss a few factors concerning this support, how it helps Israel, how it helps America, and we're not uh, we're not determining absolutely which of these different courses or the different effects or different results is more important than the other, but they're all worth taking into consideration, especially in uh, in view of the fact that we identified the USA with the Israelite nations, with the lost ten tribes of Israel a good portion of whose population is derived from Israelite elements who migrated to the USA as if by a homing instinctive instinct, a drive, as if by a homing instinctive drive that they had as a result of their Israelite ancestry, which is being aroused in these last days because we are getting to the crucial point, we're getting to the point where all of our past history and all of our previous ancestry and everything that we were that made us what we are is going to come to a head it's going to be asked to deliver an accounting of itself and to make a final effort towards um, deciding who it is and in which direction it is heading these are the last times or we're getting close to them and this is worth knowing and being aware of Jews are important in America they are numerically, or they are a small percentage of the population, they are very influential, influential in America. And they help to determine the American character to some degree. They have helped uh, make America what it is. The Jews in the USA are a positive element. The Jews are law, the Jews are law abiding, they're industrious, they're innovative, they're entrepreneur, entrepreneurial. They are up there, they identify with America. They are part of the American character, or they might uh, part of the elements that determine uh, American characters and and attitudes. The Jews in America, they heighten the intellectual and cultural level of the American population. Uh, perhaps people uh, uh, are reserved about this influence, but it exists. It is important. It is there. It has an effect. It, it makes America what it is. 
It was the Jewish religion. The Jewish religion is in effect a reflection of the Bible, of biblical values. America is based on the, on the Bible. The Bible is in the soul of the American being, in a sense, and the Jews reflect this. And by sympathizing with the Jews, it is as if they extend a gratitude, a sense of gratitude, a sense of empathy that derives from their biblical background. By helping the State of Israel, the USA is as if to say give us recognition to its step to the Jews or to the presence of Jews amongst them with to whom they are appreciative. As we said, the American character was formed by pioneers who came to America. Many of them were biblically conscious and lived according to the Bible, at least according to their understanding of the Bible, and helping the state of Israel, helping the Jews, as if, in a sense, getting back in touch with the forebears of the American people, of what these pioneering fathers, forefathers, would have wanted their descendants to do. And this is what they are doing. They are supporting the Jewish state in Israel because this is what the Bible wants. This is what the Bible speaks about. And this is bringing the Bible into fruition. It is into reality. A good portion of the American nation are descended from lost and tribes of Israel, all from Jews who have assimilated, all from people who are in some way are connected to the Hebrew forefathers. Either way, the, these people, this Israelite Hebraic element in the American population is numerically significant, much more than we realize, and also qualitatively it is very important. So by helping Israel, America is also giving its expression to this Hebraic element within its ancestry. Jewish scientists in Israel and in the USA, they have made many contributions to progress, to technologically advancement, to breaking edge development and discoveries and uh, technological refinements. The research activities of the Jewish people, of Jewish scientists and of Jewish entrepreneurs has contributed much to the American people, to the American nation. America benefits from progress made by Israeli scientists in Israel and also from Jewish scientists and Jewish researchers and developers in the USA. U.S. intelligence benefits from Jewish activities, from Jewish developments, from things that the Israeli government has done and is doing from uh, Israeli breakthroughs in computers and in uh, understanding what the enemy is about. Israel shares all of its knowledge and its information with the USA and the USA benefits from it. Also the very place, space that Israel occupies is of advantage in this respect to the USA. The USA has transmitting stations in Israel under American control that if ever necessary could relay uh, messages to the TV stations, in other words, take control against the will of, of, of TV relaying devices in, in the Middle East and even in Russia that could reach into the homes through the TV sets of the populations of these people and deliver crucial messages. Now, this uh, capability would only be used at the time of need, in a time of uh, emergency, but it exists and it is potential. Uh, it is a tool. It is a weapon, a propaganda weapon, weapon or a, a weapon of giving information, of information, of informing the others, informing people who want to be informed about the pros and cons of the situation. So this is a value. This is what Israel has. Israel is at the junction of the continents of uh, Europe, Asia, Africa, the flora and fauna of Israel uh, reflects this. So to Israel is at a, ge a, a geographical, geopolitical um, placement that enables it to uh, exert control over the oil fields of Arabia, of the Gulf states, of Iran, of Iraq, to reach into southern Russia, to reach into Turkey, to reach into Egypt, to reach into the Somalia, to all of those, all of that re region around the Red Sea, 
all of this at once, all of this at one in one place, all of this centered. And this is because Israel is the center of this, this region. And Israel has the capabilities to, uh, to allow America to exert its influence in this area. And Israel is reliable and can protect whosoever should need protection in, in case of necessity. Israel does not require American help in the, as far as manpower is concerned. It may or may not require it at some time in the future, but up until now is not required it, does not will require it, does not need it on an ongoing basis. On the contrary, Israel can help America in case of need in this field, in this area. So Israel is of value in this respect. Israel often does things, carry out actions and so on that America needs doing, but for certain reasons uh, cannot do itself. So this too is of, of, of value. This is how Israel in effect helps the USA. Israel is a powerful army, a powerful air force, powerful research capabilities. It's not, maybe not as good as it is sometimes imagined to be, but it is much better than a lot of people think it is. It is a world power in its own right, despite its, its small population and its vulnerabilities. Israel is a power whose alliance is worth having. It is not to be dismissed. So this too is worth considering. The achievements of Israel in the military field and other fields reflect on the USA. They give credit to the USA. Uh, armaments. U.S. armaments and military products employed by Israel help the USA merchandise its military production. The fact that Israel uses these, these uh, products and often improves upon them and shares its improvements with the USA helps the USA sells it and, and indirectly also helps the U.S. industry in many other fields. It percolates downwards. Uh, Israel uh, contributes in this area. Israel is also a blaming horse. The Jews have always been blamed for all the, the, the faults and all the weaknesses and all the calamities of the world. The Jews are not to blame. More often than not, the Jews are the ones who have helped save the world, have helped save others, have helped rescue others, have cured sickness and disease and shown ways how to improve the standards of civilization and of development and of production. Nevertheless, the Jews have always been blamed for faults, not their own, and very often Israel is attacked, uh, most uh, up until recently, possibly still now, most, uh, most of the decisions of the UN, the group decisions and the condemnations in the UN General Assembly, were against Israel. It was as if they did not have anything else in the world to worry about except Israel, or that Israel was worth more than all the other faults and all the other problems in the world put together. Even though the very nations condemning Israel in their own countries were oppressing their own minorities, oppressing their own people, and had a track record as far as human rights is concerned and other related fields, they had a track record which is much worse than that of Israel, but nevertheless they condemn Israel because Israel is a Jews and the Jews are easy victims and always have been victims and always have been accused of such things. So they continue to do so. They continue the tradition of the, the this is what the nations of the world did because they are they themselves are primitive, barbaric, cruel, oppressive to others and they accused Israel of being this way. Uh, elements that uh, are jealous of the USA. Oh, I hate America for all kinds of reasons, all kinds of reasons, rational and irrational ones. They cannot openly attack the USA, so they attack Israel instead of it. So Israel accepts this. It's part of the price, and Israel does this. And uh, in this sense, Israel actually helps America by taking the blame for things that other people in a, would really want to blame America for. Not, and, and in both cases, neither Israel nor America is to blame for these problems. So it's the land of the Jews. Most of its population is Jewish. It represents the Bible. It represents the people of Israel as a recognizable entity, 
it may be that the Lost Ten Tribes are also to be found in the American population, also to be found in areas of Europe, and numerically in these regions they are much more numerous than the Jews, but the Jews remain Israelites to the extent that they are recognisable as such. They have always been recognisable as such. This was a blessing given unto them. The Judah would always be recognisable. And um, therefore, therefore, when the nations of the world attack you, so condemn you, so persecute you, so they are getting at the Hebrew nation in its recognisable form. Israel is taking the blame and the condemnation that would otherwise reach all of the Israelite nations. Israel, that is the nation of the Jews, are, are, the, in this, are the oppressed servant in Isaiah 53 who is suffering for the other nations, who is suffering for the other Israelite peoples. This is what Israel is doing. So what Israel has always done. It's also a blessing, the blessing given unto Abraham. Genesis 12, 3, and I'll, bless, and I'll bless those who bless you. And the one who curses you, I will curse. And in you, and in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So this too is a blessing that Israel has helped. The Jews of Israel have carried it through and it applies to them. May the Lord God of Israel bless you. Thank you.